Adidas absolutely ruined basketball. This evening is ruined. Look, I, wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Adidas became the official uniform provider for the NBA in 2006 after acquiring Reebok and replacing them as a league's apparel supplier. Adidas and the NBA signed an 11 year global partnership, making Adidas the official uniform provider for the NBA, WNBA, and D League. Although Adidas wasn't a household name at the time that this contract was announced, it was announced that Adidas dropped Sebastian Telfair, a pretty well-known NBA player, because after a few years in the NBA, they canceled the pending $6 million check, already staining the Adidas name. But if you look at the jerseys, they are absolutely mid. No creativity whatsoever. Sure, you have your outliers, the sleeve jerseys that absolutely everybody hated, but I, on I honestly like them. I thought the sleeve jerseys were really, really cool, especially the Christmas Day ones, but I think the best Christmas Day jerseys were probably the ones in 2015 and 2016. It was the only creative outlet that adidas had but if you ask adidas after the 2016-17 season they said we have decided to not renew our partnership as the official outfitter of the nba after our current contract expires following the 16-17 season while we have enjoyed a successful long-term relationship with the league we continually review our partner agreements to ensure they are meeting our investment and delivering on our brand and business needs we are reimagining and reshaping our business and have evolved our strategy to look at new cutting edge ways to drive our brand and support our business over the long term. We will invest more in telling stories that matter to our consumer, building category disrupting innovative products, reinvigorating youth basketball with our new next generation program. The highest bidder for the official NBA roster apparel professional athletes owner to was Nike. Our and brand Nike did something court. that no other brand before them did for the jerseys. Every team was going to have a sponsorship patch on their jerseys from 1 to 30, exposing more eyeballs to the game and more eyeballs to the brands on their jerseys. They even had way more creativity than Adidas ever had by creating city jerseys for each team. Now I want to go over the all-star jerseys from 2010 till now, ranking them on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being absolutely horrible, 10 being absolutely amazing because Adidas ran the jerseys obviously from 2006 to 2017, but just take a look back at just how piss poor these jerseys actually were compared to when Nike and Jordan took over. All-Star Dallas 2010, I actually seen a lot of people rocking these jerseys around NBA arenas and whatnot, I give them an 8. LA All-Star 2011, they really embodied the Hollywood lifestyle, let's give them a 10, I like those ones a lot. All-Star Orlando, again, more jerseys that people were rocking around arenas, I give them a 10, really embodied the West colors and East colors as well, Houston 2013. We'll have to give these a one. I mean, they look cool on paper, but in the end, trash. All-Star New Orleans, absolutely garbage. Although I do like sleeveless jerseys, these ones weren't the move. All-Star New York. Now, I do think we did get a sneak peek of the 2018 All-Star jerseys, so I give these a 10. I thought they were absolutely cool. But these were the best jerseys in the Adidas era as far as All-Star game. Kobe's last year, absolutely amazing, embodying the city in which the all-star game was in toronto all-star new orleans last time that we saw the adidas jerseys and what the fuck are these mechanic uniforms practice jerseys get out of here these were absolute garbage a one all-star 2018 i don't know i love black and white so i gotta give these a 10 i thought these were absolutely cool no matter what team it was in same with all-star 2019 they embodied the exact same uniform concept i give these a 10 as well as the first all-star jersey i ever purchased now all-star 2020 I have to give these a 10 mainly because I love for what they did with Kobe and Gigi, Team LeBron, War number 2 for Gigi, Team Giannis, War 24 for Kobe. So I give those a 10. Color scheme wise was kind of bad. All Star 2021, horrible. Give that a 1. What are those practice jerseys? 2022, I give those a 5. They were okay. They could have done better. All Star 2023 in Utah, yeah, they got jazz colors on there, which I like. So we'll give those an 8. And then now the 2024 old school will give those a 10 mainly for being nostalgic on the right you have the adidas jerseys and yes i'm going to point out my lakers but just look how bland that was kobe deserved way better compared to the one on the left the nike jerseys literally reminds me of the showtime lakers the reason why i became a fan of the lakers in the first place absolute genius get the fuck out of here with the adidas blandness let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video and that's the hats 
Every team that goes to the NBA Finals gets a hat and t-shirt commemorating and celebrating this epic milestone and achievement as a franchise. And the winner of the NBA Finals gets the same thing, a hat and a t-shirt commemorating an epic season and showing that you're the NBA champions. Let's start with the Conference Finals. I'm not going to bore you guys going all the way back to 2010 or 2006. We'll start in 2015 and 2016. And the reason why I'm not talking about the shirts that the conference final players wore or that the NBA final winners wore is because people wear those as sleep shirts or as workout shirts. They don't wear those for a night out on the town. They wear those to the gas station. So we're going to exclude those. 2015 on the left, 2016 on the right. I give 2015 a 10 because of the color scheme, whereas 2016... I like them, but I give them a three. It looks like something a skater would wear. And what were they sponsored by? Mitchell and Ness 2017 gets an absolute three as well because the brims were as flat as a pancake. But in 2018, we get a whole transition because they are now sponsored by New Era. The New Era brand also does baseball caps. We'll give 2018 a 10 because I love the simplicity behind it. They didn't have to go all out like Adidas did. Same with 2019. Absolutely amazing. We'll give that one a 10 as well. I have the 2020 NBA Finals hat. This was the COVID season in the bubble. And I feel like because fans didn't get to experience live sporting events that year, this was absolutely simple, absolutely perfect. I give it an eight. But because of the dire circumstances that we were in at the time during the pandemic, I felt like this fit it absolutely perfect. No pun intended. I got 2021 as well kind of similar to 2018 but again the world wasn't in exactly the place that we needed to be in but it still gave fans a sense of security and again simplicity is just better so i give this one a 10 as well because i've seen so many people rocking these at the clubs at ufc fights new era brings something called swag something that adidas never had like i have this shit tattooed on my fucking hand that's how much i love hats and the new era brand as a whole so if they're giving out any ambassador deals or they're doing any paid modeling let me know in the comment section because i will rock that shit till the day i die 2022 nba conference finals hats because it was the 75th anniversary season they did a great job of bringing a sense of nostalgic and old schoolness to the hats i'll give them a 10. I have a 2023 NBA Finals hat as well, and you're going to ask why the Nuggets logo is crossed out. Try being a Lakers fan and trying to beat the Nuggets, and the fans are just always rubbing it in your face. It gets old really, really fast, so I'm not going to have anything Nuggets in this household, but this hat is absolutely sick. It is the first hat, Conference Finals-wise, that we've seen, almost like a trucker hat, and we got the NBA Finals logo on the side absolutely loved it i feel like these are the best conference finals hat that nike and new era has put together in this era so i give these a 10 as well now the 2024 conference finals hats i feel like are the worst in this era these look like hats you could get at buckle these look like hats you could get at a gas station although these are hats you could probably wear to the baile or to a cowboy club we'll give these a five because they are absolutely trash not because the celtics are on them now let's go into the NBA champions hats that the winners wore from 2006 till now and rate those on a scale of 1 to 10. 2007 NBA Finals, the first year that Adidas was in charge of the apparel for the NBA. We got the strap backs going 1990s as fuck, going gas station as fuck. We'll give those a 1 based off of creativity. 2008, I actually like these. They weren't the best, but we'll give these a 5 because the Celtics won their 17th banner and I thought they did this pretty well they knocked it out of the park pretty well for the time being so we'll give this a five as well 2009 as much as of a diehard laker fan i am this hat was absolute garbage i mean this looks like something that enrique iglesias would wear on stage i feel like if you wore this out on the night out of town you would definitely get clowned on 2010 i feel like this was a good hat but i hate how it's a fitted how do they know the head sizes of these players head what if someone had a giant ass head not just because of their ego and it didn't fit them but we'll give those a eight 2011 nba champions this was probably one of the best hats that they've had in the adidas era because it looks like something that we'd see today and dirk wearing it with his most legit ring in nba history yeah i give those a 10 probably the best in the decade 2012 now we're back to boring and bland we'll give these a one i guarantee you nobody purchased these not even in miami because the bills are flat as fuck no one wears these hats anymore and i get snapbacks and tattoos were a thing back in 2012 2013 but come on they could have done better 2013 i mean were they trying to be like mitchell and nest where you can't even bend the brim of the hat even if you run over it by a car i mean give me a break we'll give that a three 2014 
very reminiscent to the NBA Finals championship hats that we saw the Boston Celtics wear when they won their title. I liked it. It was probably the last ounce of creativity that Adidas had. So we'll give them an 8, an A for effort. 2015, we're back to not trying again. We're back to just bland. We're back to just, okay, yeah, you could wear this with the sweatsuit. You could wear it bowling, but you can't wear it to the club. You can't wear it to be swaggy. 2016, the greatest NBA season ever. I don't know if Adidas are LeBron haters, but because the Cavaliers had the greatest comeback in NBA Finals history, I feel like they totally screwed them. I give them a 7, but they could have just done a lot better. I won't even give it a 7. I'll give it a 3. And what the fuck are we doing with this, huh? This is probably the most disrespectful NBA Finals championship hat I have ever seen in my life. You mean to tell me one of the best teams ever couldn't get a better on-court celebration hat? We'll give that a 1. But definitely they got some redemption because New Era came to save the day once again with the great hat. I don't like the Warriors, we'll give it a 7, but it was just a way better hat than any other hats that they received in the past. We'll give it an 8. 2019 Lebronto, I mean Toronto Raptors championship hat. Yeah, this was probably the first hat I've seen people wearing out in clubs, wearing out to a night out on town, to dinner with a nice outfit. Absolutely amazing. We'll give it a 10. Lakers COVID title. I feel like they definitely, with their situation, got a good hat as well. I feel like everyone else got a good hat as well because I was the one that purchased one of these hats. We'll give it an 8 because of the circumstances. 2021, Milwaukee Bucks. I love the creativity behind it as well. The font of the Milwaukee Bucks logo, we'll give it an 8. 2023, NBA champions, Denver Nuggets. Of course, I crossed out the Nuggets because, again, being a diehard Laker fan and we can't beat this team to save our fucking life. Yeah, fans always rubbing it in our face. I had to do it. But this hat is absolutely cool. And going out in Denver after the Nuggets won this title and people are wearing it here, people are wearing it there, people are wearing it in high functioning environments, people are wearing it to banquets, people are wearing it to galas. So many people wore this hat, not just in Denver, but around different places in the country. The creativity behind this, stretching the word champions around the entire cap, give it a 10. And I know I'm just seeming like I'm glazing new era and Nike and Jordan off, but it's the goddamn truth. They brought amazing swag, back to the game that many people thought was already there but they just took it to another level which brings us to this year nba champions 2023 2024 i love the creativity behind this we'll give it a seven off of that but because it's the celtics i would only give it a seven now i'm not trying to shit on adidas at all they only had two things going for them one was in the past with derrick rose and his shoe deal enjoy retirement king and now with the rise of anthony edwards and his takeover of the league maybe anthony edwards can bring adidas back into some sort of relevancy in the game of basketball just didn't have enough swag like today's game has you can't wear certain things that adidas made especially jerseys to a club to a gala to something of a high standard to a nice restaurant where they have a dress code whereas now with nike jordan and new era you could wear the hats that the players wear on the court after they win the conference finals or nba finals to the club i've seen it with my own eyes it's just a better receivance from fans and from the general audience because there's just way more creativity behind nike and behind new era that adidas never had whatsoever and it genuinely pisses me off that adidas was in charge of the jerseys because i feel like they didn't do enough with the jerseys and enough with the hats and enough with the shirts over their 11 year contract period and it just ruined a lot of my look and output on the league but hey it doesn't take away from the players greatness and it doesn't take away from the epic games that we've had but although i do think the seasons are a little bit marred because adidas was in charge but in the end if adidas came to me with a million dollar contract i would not turn them down because in the end money talks